you are. Okay. Good. Uh, just one thing. We'll be recording this session for it. Okay. Good. Uh, so I'll start. Nipa will start then. Uh, uh, Dhruv won't be coming. So I'd be taking the entire ROP session. So hopefully, okay. We we aren't waiting for anybody else, right? We can start, right? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, okay, guys, my name is Sudhanshu Sadre. I would be one of the moderators for the AI PPM session that will be held at the Vase Youth Parliament. So this is the rules of procedure session. So essentially, before we start, I want to get a little bit of understanding of how many people are here, okay? And what is the experience? Uh, because I want to alter my explanation based on the experience. So if anybody, uh, those people who are a first timers for MUN or youth parliaments, any kind of debating platform, just raise your hands. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a significant chunk. Okay, cool. Uh, guys, like you can put your hands on. Thank you. So, cool. So I'll just start. Okay. So my rules of procedure session is a little bit different. I don't tell everything. I'll just basically start a rough session, like how the AIPP meeting is going to go. I'm going to be very slow. So that's not an issue. So I'm going to go as in how the session will actually go when the committee commences on the MU, uh, youth parliament day so in that if you have any doubt about certain word that i've said or certain thing that has happened and you'll be like i don't know about this so you can just raise your hand i explain it to you then and there because i think so this is better than me saying some thing like a lecture because it's pretty hard to understand for the people who have no understanding of MUNs or YP and they don't understand certain words. Okay, so I just hope you guys have read the rough ROP that I've written in the background guide. So that is ideal. If you haven't read it, please access uh, the resource folder that has been given by the secretariat. Please look at it. And if you have downloaded it, open it right now and keep it like right beside you. So if you have any doubts, you can ask it there and there. You can refer to the ROB document and you can uh, ask it then and there. Okay, so I'll just start. Okay, so when the committee starts, okay. Abhi, essentially we are not doing a proper, what happens in AIPPM? Because if you go and see AIPPM is a little bit of it's a platform, it's a debating platform. So there are no uh, concrete rules when you compare it to other Indian committees like Lok Sabha, Lok Sabha or any type of parliamentary meet that is specifically on an agenda. They have a specific concrete ROP that has been prescribed uh, by the government inside certain documents. AIPPM doesn't have it. That's why what we'll be adopting is a pretty rough ROP. Okay, that would be a little bit similar to what happens in MUN, not exactly similar, a little bit similar what happens in MUN, because essentially it is for the first person, uh, first timers, because it'll help you guys to uh, not bother much about ROP, because as such, we are not bothering much about ROP. The main concern should be the debate. Okay, so I'll start with the committee session. Okay, when the committee session starts, what happens is any of the moderator, be it the vice chairperson, doesn't matter, all, all of us are moderators. So the moderator will ask for something that is called a roll call. Okay, so the roll call, if you know, if you've been in any type of education scenario, you know what is a roll call. Okay, so roll call in AIPPMs are very straightforward. You have like, if somebody calls your name, you have one option that's called present. Okay, there is no other option in AIPPM as such. Okay. I'll tell you why it's important, okay? Because in other type of scenarios, in other type of committees, if you're talking about an Indian committee or a UN committee, doesn't matter. Then what matters is what is the outcome of that committee? So if anybody knows about AIPPM, if they can tell me what is the outcome document that comes out of AIPPM, 
like raise your hand and just tell me if anybody knows if nobody knows i'll tell you it's like it, it's a straight forward thing okay cool nobody okay cool so what happens at the end of the ai ppm is such there is a press report okay so it's like it's a very informal report of the the members in the meet specifying what happened in the meet what was discussed and what is informally proposed okay that is the only thing that happens the the issue is when you talking about a press report this, this type of a document okay issue is there is one thing that's called voting okay if you talk about any type of document okay you talk about a law just make if you're a first time at this don't like confuse yourself it's very simple if you talk about a bill a law in any type of parliamentary scenario you need votes like you need a specific amount of votes if that threshold is reached only then the document is adopted by that organization okay so the bill has passed and the bill has become law only after threshold after a threshold of votes is reached that is the reason in other type of scenarios in other type of uh, simulations or actual committees there is a roll call because in the roll call people there have two options okay they can either be present okay and there's a second option that's for present and voting okay this won't be uh, well, uh, like it won't be enforced here i'll tell you why okay so when you talk about present no theek hai to see somebody okay or uh, okay anyone anyone who voted present say i voted present that's it present and not present and vote so what happens is when the day 2 day 3 whatever the day of the committee is reached and when the committee is deciding on paperwork and the committee is uh, adopt uh, doing the voting on the paperwork i have two options then i can say sorry three options i can say yes i am in support of the paperwork i can so say no i am not against like i'm against the paperwork i don't want it to pass and the third is called abstain okay essentially i don't have any views a positive view or negative view of the paperwork okay and i don't want to give a affirmative or a negative so i can say abstain that is the option there and but that is only when i have voted present okay but i vote, if i vote present in voting i don't have an option it is just say yes or no you can't be like okay now i want to abstain that is the significance of a roll call because it depends on the committee uh, that you are simulating it depends on the end product of the committee that is simulating because if you take certain committees un committees or if you take you know indian committees that need a end product for that meeting to end that is the reason you give present and present in voting but in here there would be no point of view you will have present because at the end uh, the type of uh, documentation the type of end product has said that we are proposing everyone has to vote it's yes or no nobody can be like okay i don't want to i want to abstain from this so for you guys it's not an issue starting may we'll conduct a roll call there would be a sheet there all the allotments would be there we'll call the allotments when you you hear your name you just say present that's it that means you need you just need to pay attention from that point onwards you need to pay attention okay so that is the roll call okay there's one more thing about the roll call uh, that is important okay because after the roll call say there are 30 people 30 people everyone is present so we have 30 people in the committee okay so what happens is when the committee progresses it's not a if you take any type of debate the debate is not continuous because if the debate is continuous there is no point of moderators right there is no point of us being there like we would be only as judges we won't speak anything we'll just let you go on that cannot happen so what happens is the structure of debate is it's bifurcated in certain small points of debate so if you've read uh, the pdf that i've given you you'll understand there's something called motions okay motions are essentially actions 
that you want to recommend to the committee and you want the committee to take an action okay regarding the flow of debate okay so and guys one more thing i don't have an issue if anybody has a issue raise your hand don't wait for me uh, to say like okay uh, are there any questions okay i don't have an issue this is my responsibility i have to make sure that all of you understand that what we are going to do will be good for you only so if you have any question raise your hand then and there i'll answer them and then move on okay don't wait for like me to say like if you have any question please raise your hand cool sir yes uh, so uh, so one request for everyone okay uh, everyone knows how to use the raise hand option if if is anyone who cannot access the raise hand option like mute unmute yourself and tell me so i am not able to access the raise your hand you are not been able to accept the raise yeah hand me too me, okay cool so i'll do one thing abhi ke liye but make sure that you uh, contact the secretariat learn how to like or if your uh, version of the zoom needs updating because at the day of the uh, conference i'm not going to allow uh, unmuting without raise hand so abhi ke liye it's uh, it's fine because you don't uh, you can't access the option it's not an issue but make sure you contact the technical uh, technical secretariat ask them how to do this how to do this so you'll be ready because on the day i'm not going to allow any unmute and asking i won't recognize any question like that so yes if anybody has a question unmute yourself and yeah ask okay rish rishit ghosh okay sir when do we have to say present and we are voting to the second time there will be a roll call yeah yeah that's why rishit so essentially when i when i told you about present and present and voting right i only told you because i wanted to explain to you the significance of it in the committee in the ai ppm we won't be having present and present and voting you guys have only one so at the beginning of the committee when we say okay roll call is going to be conducted please pay attention we'll read out names from the list and if your name is called you just have to unmute yourself and say present that's it cool yes sir cool uh shrimati supriya sule sir now i can't hear you properly i use about question what can you explain yeah uh, what, what what do you want me to explain how would delegation work here exactly i am confused uh, can you ask this uh, can you ask this to the secretariat they'll and uh, they'll know the delegation proper uh, what do you think policy pretty like better than me dupur could you just uh, text this person it's uh, shrimati supriya sule they have a question regarding the delegation policy if nupur is here okay cool uh, uh, just one thing yeah can you just uh, provide a detailed examination whatever the delegation how it works in this committee in the main group itself because uh, you're talking yeah. you're talking about the delegation as in the amount the delegates delegates not delegation policy you're talking about yeah the team yeah. basically teams of delegates yeah so the thing is i can't tell you that because like i'm the eb if you can ask the secretariat i'll give you a, a little bit amount of time after the rops are done you guys can ask the secretariat the secretariat would be here you can ask the secretary secretariat as much as you uh, want to Work? okay yeah that's fine yes uh, guys if you have any problems regarding the uh, delegation policy or anything regarding you know the conference policy please wait for a bit because honestly i can't uh, like i don't have the cap capacity to answer your, answer those questions okay cool so we'll go on uh, shrimati supriya sule do you have a question or you just raise your hand if your question is answered just please lower your hand okay cool So we go ahead so after yeah where i was yeah yeah i was at uh, roll call okay so when the roll call is done 30 more like 30 people are present okay so as i told you there are certain motions okay i'll tell you what those motions are so when the roll call is done if there are 30 people 
we have this rule as in it states that for a motion for an action that you want the committee to take to pass okay a voting would be conducted for that voting there are as i told you there are only two options for you guys in any type of voting in this entire uh, com committee you can say either yes or no and in those uh, circumstances in which what we call them they are they are called yeah. as yeah uh, sai amrut kar do you have a question no sir okay cool no issues just make sure that you don't unmute yourself because uh, then i'll get confused okay cool so 30 people are present and as i told you there are certain threshold that needs to be reached in any type of voting procedures for the action to pass or fail okay so in roughly almost every type of scenario in which there is a debate uh, pursuing there is this thing called simple majority simple majority is nothing but 50% of the entire uh, committee strength plus one so if you are talking about 30 people so the simple majority would be the 50% of the total that is 15 plus one that would be 16 as such any motion that you guys are propo proposing for it to pass you need at least 16 votes okay at least 16 votes anything less than 16 the mayor motion will fail so that is one more uh, one more significant of the roll call that is your simple majority is set if there are 29 people present 30 people present 31 per people present the simple majority is set after the roll call is conducted okay Cool. Uh, till now, my the roll call explanation is done. Till now, if anybody has a doubt, raise your hand or unmute yourself. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead with motions. I had a doubt. Yes, please, please ask. Um, actually, my question was uh, depending on the number of uh, uh, participants, uh, if the if there is exactly. uh half uh, there is no majority from that as half of say yes and half say no then how would it be uh, done further uh could you just uh, repeat it like i think so a, lit a little bit of your portion got muted what was the question uh my question was uh, depending on the number of participants uh, majority would be decided right uh, yeah. so if there is a equal uh, equal majority that is half say yes and half say no so then uh, what would the decision be taken that is not possible no because i told you uh, the majority would be 50% plus 1 so if you have 30 hmm the simple majority would be 16 so you can't have half yes. half no you get it yes yes cool so half nahi it's half plus 1 okay yeah cool or uh, anybody guys it doesn't matter even if your question is very small you think it's very it will be small it's no issue please ask use this to ask because when the committee is there then we don't we ideally don't want to waste time okay cool so i i'll start with motion oh one more thing is anybody from the secretariat here no, uh, yes 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 yeah could you just do me a favor can you uh, share screen enable so, yeah Haan. just okay uh, guys just wait a second i'll just find the what are you saying the bg and i'll share it to you so if you have any question you can ask me that reference uh, acha hoga i have enabled uh, the share screen okay just give me one second uh, i'll just find the uh,
Okay, I hope you guys can see this. So, essentially, uh, so this is essentially your background, right? This is the first page of your background, right? So, I'm just going to go. So, in this, like I've explained the roll call to you. Okay, so this is this is also redundant as I told you. So, if there are there are certain com uh, there are certain committees that wait, but I can't see participants. Okay. Oh, guys, uh, one more request. I can't see the entirety of the participants uh, window. So if you have any question, just unmute yourself. Okay, yes. Somebody has a question, raise hand. Just unmute yourself and ask. Shri Muktar Abbas Nakvi. So you raised your hand. Okay, if you have any question, please ask. Okay, cool. So, as I've told you, uh, this point two is also not that important. It's essentially certain cases. There are two. Wait a minute. Somebody is. Sharubari, my master, can you tell me the whole process of this event, like after second? Uh, like after second, ninety seconds of intro. What's the name? Okay, cool. I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to you. I'll just go. I'm just going in a proper flow. So I'll explain the 90 second. It's essentially the general speakers will start telling after the introduction. Okay. So as I told you, this is not needed because in certain committees, there are two agendas given. And for the committee to move forward, for the committee to start, the committee has to. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, guys. I'll just stop sharing because everybody has access to this. I just hope that, see, it's your responsibility. You need to download the background guide. If you have the background guide, just open it because I'm going to read it, uh, read from it myself and you can just refer it. Okay. So as I told you in certain committees, there are two agendas, two options of the agendas given for the delegates and the delegates have the choice to decide which agenda they need, they want to go forward with. Okay. So that is not required in this because you don't have a choice. You have only one agenda. Okay. So this point two is not needed much. So we'll get started with the committee session. So what will happen in the start is that, yeah, what happened in the start that you'll have certain statements. Okay. So those are called opening statements. That is the first, that is the first speech you give right out of the gate. It can, it ideally needs to solidify your stance regarding the agenda. Okay, so essentially the stance can be um, regarding your party stance or if you have enough research about the individual, the individual stance. It can be anything. Essentially, it's just an introductory statement. So those are called the opening statements. And for that also, the, the list that would be used for calling the roll call that list from that list only we'll just start calling the names so if my name is first my allotment would be called then i have my chance to give my introductory statement similarly the second third person so for that the order there is no specific uh, reason to decide the order because the order will already be decided from the roll call sheet so that will be the opening statement. The opening statement, if you have the document, wait a minute. Aman Sharmani, Shamnani. So you have a question? Uh, yes, I had a question. Yes, uh, the please. question uh, uh, was, uh, what do we basically have to speak in uh, opening statements? As in, uh, we have to speak about the party or uh, the allotment we, which we have got or what something? That, that's entirely up to you. Ideally, um, see, as I told you, it's entirely up to you. Some of you would be from the opposition side. Some of you would be from a third person or a neutral side, or some of you would be from the ruling government side. Okay. Essentially, not everyone has to state that, okay, this is the policy of the ruling government. Okay. Because you guys have a law allotment. Okay. That allotment has a certain point of individuality, certain type of actions, that they have done in the past life that you 
and their perspective on the said agenda okay so that's entirely up to you i'm not going to give i'm not going to tell you like what should be the content because that's entirely up to you i'm i'll just i'm i've just given you what is a uh, what is a normal what is a normal opening statement it's essentially just a introductory statement in which you say you basically state okay we are against this point and these are the reasons or you say we are for this point these are the reasons that are that is the general point of view of introductory statements uh, after that you can write whatever you want okay okay yeah thanks depending on your allotment and your research okay cool so okay so one question has been asked by sharvari my portfolio is manmohan singh so should i speak on his views or mine you are manmohan singh you get it so when you when you come to aip pm essentially you have to research from your uh, what are you saying on your allotment and you have to make sure that whatever points see the points that you make obviously that depends on your research whatever research that you have done you just have to make sure that whatever points you are making that are not against your allotment policy okay so essentially if i am narendra modi okay whatever points that i am making i am just giving you an example if i am narendra modi all the points that i'll make would be from my own research but i am not going to say a point in my entirety of the speech which would insinuate that i am against the concept of sedition itself okay because that will be against the ruling party's perspective or the prerogative of the ruling party and that is a statement that uh, prime minister narendra modi won't just won't say in any type of uh, debate forum or any type of public speaking forum he won't say it so essentially this similar thing your research is your oath okay but you just need to make sure that your research is streamlined with the actions the statements the overall policy of your allotment okay cool so i go ahead so as i as i told you so it's like if manmohan singh agrees to this law yeah charvari yeah it's like that Uh, okay so the third point in the document it's regarding as i told you it's regarding the opening statements each of you would have 90 seconds okay that is also that is also fixed it's 90 seconds only okay uh, we are not going to give you a choice to increase that or decrease that of the opening statements that is concrete so all of you would have uh, 90 seconds so is there any uh, guys if you have any question please don't ask me on uh, privately because other people people would might have the same question ask it like on the uh, zoom chat public zoom chat is there any dress code for the meeting please ask the secretary this question i don't have any specific information about that okay so as i told you opening statements now since you have 90 seconds there might be a situation in which you speak for see in any situation you should not speak for more than 90 seconds okay please make sure but in a situation in which you speak for say 75 seconds right you have 15 seconds remaining as per your allotted time so you have a bit of choices in which you can use the 15 seconds one is simple you don't want to speak just one minute uh, s jay sam uh, jay shankar one is simple if you just don't want to speak your speech is done you don't want to interact with anybody else as well for that time period you can yield the remaining point uh, sorry the time to the moderator and we'll thank you for that and we'll move on to the next speaker okay so that is one choice i'll tell you about the next uh, one choice again there are two choices essentially yes s jay shankar please ask a question sir my question is uh, our uh, we have to give the speech of 90 seconds so we will give uh, we will give an uh, warning bell before the 90 seconds okay so the thing is when the when the committee would be there there would be a timer that would be displayed on your screen so you won't need any al alarm because the timer would be there so you know how many seconds that you will work yes sir thank you sure
just uh, lower your hand if you don't have any further questions okay so the first choice i told you if there are certain time remaining there's one thing you can just yield it back to the moderator and that's it the second is uh, what we called as a point of information points of information are their questions essentially they're just questions you want essentially you want people to ask you questions regarding your allotment or regarding the content that you just spoke the speech you spoke ideally it should be regarding the speech that you just gave because that'd be easier for us to judge uh, the question and judge the answer because it's regarding it's based on the information that you just gave in your speech so that's one after that so, so that's that's question uh, that's i have of, a doubt yes yes please ask so whatever questions our delegates will ask it has to be related to the contents of my speech right ideally okay and if they ask a question which is not related to it that'll be depending on us if the question is pertinent as such if you state it if you state something like i'll give you an example as i told you uh, i'm prime minister modi the i state something in my speech as like okay i state something in my speech that insinuates that i want sedition sorry i don't want sedition in my uh, ruling party's perspective so this is something that goes against my own policy like this is a very big uh, aberration from my policies you point so people would have questions right so like what what do you mean you uh, you don't want sedition like you the prime minister of bjp this doesn't make sense so it depends on the question itself okay so it will be we are the moderators will be depending on us if the question is actually a question and not just a waste of time then we let it pass okay okay thank you sure okay so so that is just a question okay so in uh, sir can we counter question no you can't okay so there's one one point that people use if if you're a first timer all 30 okay all 30 of us have the same topic yes the agenda is same for everyone so uh, as you see as jay shankar has asked can we counter question okay so there is this thing that is followed in circles of mun or some people also use it in yp that is called plea to follow up essentially they just want to ask another question or they want to ask a um, certain question more than the question so essentially it's a very big and confusing point of view we are not going to allow that it's just confusing and it confuses the delegates especially who are first timers okay and it doesn't more more or so it doesn't uh, add to the debate so you don't have to worry about that there are no please to follow up there would be only one question there would be only one answer if the person gives an answer that is not ideal to the person who is asked the question it's their entirety it's their choice whatever answer they want to give if you still have further clarification ask them personally personally as in through zoom or whatsapp okay so yeah there is no yes rishit ghosh sir what if a delegate has no views on the topic so you raise your hand what what if a delegate has no views on the topic not such yeah then if if see that is the point now that is a delegate's point of view if they don't want to give an answer they'll just say oh, so i don't want to give an answer it's a acceptable thing so like we have to say our own views like no see i'm telling you and this should be like printed in your head whenever you go in a committee any type of committee whether be it will be a youth parliament or uh, or anyone a model you want you're going there representing someone right so that is the that is the point that differs mun or yp from debating right in debating when you're talking about parliamentary debates you're going you're not representing anyone you're just representing yourself but if you talk about yp the, that are youth parliaments or mun's you're representing a certain person or you're representing a certain country both of which is same you're representing a certain ideology or a set of ideas so whatever you say your research should be in a way on the lines of this person's policy or this country's policy you get it yes sir yeah and and honestly ideally in a way that we have set the matrix all of you have 
views. Okay, all of all of you have proper documented views on sedition. So there is no person in this entire matrix that don't that doesn't have views on sedition that has just been called. Okay, all of you guys have proper views on sedition. You need to research about that. <coughs> yes, Mr. Rishit Kaur, do you have any other question? If not, please lower your hand. Okay. So as I told you guys, one is called a point of information. That is just a question. If you have 15 seconds left, we'll answer. We'll take like one question. It depends on the time that is left. Okay. So that is your opening statement. Okay. Uh, our intro should be in English or other languages are allowed. Okay. So see, it's for me as well. Both of our moderators, we both know uh, Hindi and English. Ideally, it should be English. Is there anyone in the seat? Not everyone is present here, but I'm asking here. Is there anyone in this entire room that doesn't understand Hindi or other uh, uh, languages like Tamil uh, or they want uh, the committee to be facilitated in English? Because there are certain people that uh, they, are, they come in uh, Indian committees that have a little bit of trouble understanding Hindi or other languages, and it's completely fine. Is there anyone here? If anybody has raised their hands, okay, nobody has raised their hands. But still, ideally, uh, the entire facilitation would be in English. Hindi, if you want to use Hindi, it's completely up to you. Okay, but uh, mo as moderators, we are going to uh, we we will be going to uh, use English. Yes, Shri Muktar. Sir, can we use personal pronouns? Yeah, 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 you can. That's it's not, right. Okay. It's, yeah, it's not a, you're not representing an uh, organization or a country, you're representing a person. So I, you are going to use for personal pronouns. Okay, do, do we have chits? Yes, we have chits, and I'll explain it to you in what way you can use chits. Okay. So you guys understand one thing that is introductory session. 90 seconds you guys will have, and depending. Um, on the 90 seconds, you can yield time uh, for POIs or to the chair if you don't have any questions. No other choices could be there. It's either yield to, back to the moderator or if you have, if you want people to ask questions to you, you can do that. Okay. So that's one thing done. Okay. So after this, we'll open the floor. Okay. Richard Ghosh, sir, you have a question. Or we have to announce that we yield to the chair or yield to the point of information. No, no. See, see. Once your speech is done, okay, we'll see the we'll see the time work. If time is remaining, the moderator will ask you this much time is remaining. How would you like to yield the time? So in that, you don't have to see in nowhere here in the entire committee. You won't have to say something. Okay. If you want to say something, you have to raise your hand, get recognized, and then ask. Okay. So once we ask you, how do you want to yield the time? Then you can say, okay, we yield, we yield the less, uh, rest of the time to the moderator or we yield the rest of the time uh, for points of information. You get it? Yes. Sir. So if we don't have any time remaining, we can't yield to anything. No, no. Okay. Yes, Anukriti Banerjee. So uh, does, there are five cheats mentioned. So the five cheats were both the com uh, like both two days of the committee. The cap is given in the like PDF. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. I'm just going in a flow. I'll explain the cheats properly. Okay. Cool? Okay. Okay. If anybody has a question regarding uh, whatever I've said till now, ask them. Okay. I'll, I'm going to cover everything. No issue. I have time remaining. My entire like I have work till at nine, so I have a lot of amount of time remaining. I'm going to be thorough, so don't worry. Okay, so I've told you about the introductory session. After that, we'll open the floor for you guys to ask points or motions. So I've explained, I've already explained one point to you that is point of information. And I hope all of you guys have understand what's the point of information. Okay, so yeah, under AIPPMs, guideline or un, uh, under our uh, simulation guideline, there would be two types of sessions. Okay, one would be a public session and one would be a private session, right? The difference is, it's, it's important for you to understand the difference. It, the, it won't have that much of uh, impact on uh, what you, whatever your content is there. Okay, so I, 
I'm suggesting anyone who has the document, open the document right now because then you'll understand it better. Okay, so public session is essentially in which there is a proper record maintained. Okay, so whatever you say in a public session, it would be recorded in an actual AIPPM or any in an actual meeting. If you're talking about a public session and a private session, in a public session, everything would be maintained in a document that we call a verbatim. Okay, so if somebody says something, we'll have the record of it at the end of the day. So that is the public session. Now, private session is something in which you want to discuss certain things that you don't want it to be recorded as such. Because if the once the verbatim is recorded, it's public. Uh, uh, it's available to the public, so the public would know what who said what, who said what. The press essentially through the press, the public knows. But in a private session, nothing is maintained. You guys can talk about anything. You guys can speak about anything and nothing would be meant, uh, written or nothing would be given to the press. That is the concept of public and private sessions. Okay. So if you, if you give, if you uh, see the document in that I've given the time limits on that, on that, I'll just read it. I also don't remember probably. Yeah. Okay. So this is straightforward. So essentially when you talk, when you talk about the public session, you will give me time limit as such. Okay. So in public session. Okay. So this is a, this is a bit of derogation that we'll, uh, we'll be going to do because apparently I saw, apparently I saw there are a lot of people present. Okay. So we need to change the ROP depending on amount of people present because online moderation becomes a little bit tough for that. So what we're, what are we going to do in public sessions is going to be certain similarity of these things called if you guys have done MUNs, it's similar to the moderated caucus. If you haven't done MUNs, no issues. I just explain what it is. In a public session, if you want to talk about if you want to um, raise a motion of public session, you need to you need to speak on a topic. Okay, the public session in our perspective in our ROP would have a certain topic, a subtopic as such. If you're talking about sedition, uh, a subtopic, an example of the subtopic would be case studies. You can discuss in what cases uh, 124A was actually used by the uh, government uh, government perspective in order to book. certain individual under that section. Okay. So this can be an example. This is an example. You can discuss this as a subtopic in a public session and you have to give me a time limit. Ideally public sessions don't have a time limit, but given the certain conditions, I'm going to give you that you need to give me a time limit as such one, you need to give me a time limit as such for speakers time. How many, how, how many seconds that every speaker will speak and a total speaker's time. An example would that uh, example of that. That would be 20, 20 minutes total, total speaker's time and one minute per speaker's time. So essentially 20 speakers would be entertained in that. Okay. So that would be a public session. Or do you have any questions regarding that time limits or what is what, like, what should, sh should you talk in a public? Yeah. Uh, there is a specific format, which, with which we have to put forward the motion, right? Can you just yeah. point it out? Yeah. I'll just tell you. So again, this specific format is essentially just a practice that has been, uh, enforced, but okay. For the sake of clarity, I'll tell you. So when you talk about, when you want to raise a motion, Essentially, on, honestly, you don't have to use a specific format because what you're talking about, if you're talking about MUN, it's when you derogate from a for, formal uh, session. But in here, we are not going to do the entire formal session and informal session thing because it's public and private. So what you what you what you would be what you would do that when we ask for motions, if you have a public speaking mo uh, public motion. We'll just say that I want to raise public motion for the topic this this and for the time limit this this. That's it. You don't need to say anything other than that. 
okay all right subramaniam so, swami okay cool so that is the public session guys okay one difference from your public session and your introductory statements is that if you have 60 seconds okay somebody raised a public speak, uh, uh, public motion it passed and it's for 20 minutes per speaker's time sorry 20 minutes total speaker's time and one minute per speaker's time so 20 speakers are entertained and everybody has one minute in that if you talk speak for 50 seconds or 45 seconds and you have 15 seconds remaining same thing going to be done here as you've done in introductory statement even if you talk for 2 seconds out of the 60 seconds all of the remaining time will come back to the moderator okay you cannot yield time in public sessions uh Good. another thing another doubt yeah. uh yeah, if suppose uh there's a spe- suppose somebody speaks before me in the pu- public session and they point out something in their uh, 60 second speech which i as my portfolio doesn't agree with so can i use that in my 60 seconds and say that i don't agree with uh, what xyz said and uh, these are my views something like that yeah it's up, up to you whatever you want to speak in the public session in your speeches is up to you it should be under the umbrella of the decided topic that's it okay cool whatever your content is that's up to you the software your research is there any other question yeah i had a question yes um uh, what is what are motions and points basically matlab un dono ka meaning kya hai i couldn't hear you properly yeah what are motions and points yes okay cool so as i told you motions are essentially your request act in the direction the committee okay so the thing is we are moderators you guys need to take the initiative of directing the committee in a certain direction right and motions are your tool okay if you want to go for a public motion that i just explained to you you can raise a motion that you want to go for a public motion that's a public public session and if you want to go for a private session you can do that i'll explain what a private session is properly and there is a time limit for that you can do that so essentially public sessions private sessions all these that's how your flow of debate would go and that's up to you that's those are the tools those are called motions okay now you're talking about points um points are essentially certain privileges that have been given to you since you have been called to this meeting one point i've explained to you that is point of information right if certain point a certain yielding options are there that may, when we ask you that at this this much time is remaining for you you have an option to yield uh, what can you okay as you suggest some i'll just answer you so what can you uh, what are you saying what to what uh, do you yield time to i've told you there's two yield to the moderator yield to question that is the point of information that two more points okay one is called the point of personal privilege if i have not written this ideally i should write this if i have not yeah i have written this if you read the document that i have sent you in that i have given in the three points okay oh i was right yeah i have given three points one is point of information i have explained it to you and i have also explained there would be no concept of plea to follow up use and one is point of personal privilege please read it okay because in online simulation points of point of personal privilege is not needed much point of personal privilege is essentially for your personal dis- discomfort you're feeling hot you want the ac to be increased in i'm i'm telling you in relation to what happens in actual ambience like off in ambience right so you want the ac to be decreased you're feeling a little bit under the weather you want to go somewhere you want to call someone from the secretariat to so use that you raise a point of personal privilege but ensure the only condition in which you can raise a point of personal privilege is when nobody is speaking and when we ask or you can raise a point of personal privilege whenever you want we don't have to ask for it you can raise it stating okay you couldn't hear certain delegate speech and that also would be considered by us if you are the only person who hasn't heard, hasn't heard that means your uh, what are you saying console has audio problem then we just ask you to ask that person on private chat what was was the speech about we couldn't hear you what you said 
so that is the only way you can use the point of possible privilege in online simulation an example like what will be what would we be doing the second is point of parliamentary inquiry whatever i'm talking whatever i'm explaining right now that are the that are the rules of procedure during the committee if you have a doubt regarding any type of rules of procedure you can raise a point of parliamentary inquiry and you can ask okay please understand okay i'll give you an example also because this is important so cool i'll raise a point of personal uh, uh, parliamentary inquiry to the moderator stating what is the time limit uh, what what is the time remaining for this public session i want to know how many how much time is remaining or how many speakers are remain, uh, remaining in this public session that's a parliamentary inquiry and the moderator will answer me this okay anything regarding the procedure is parliamentary inquiry know this because if you misuse point of personal uh, what are you saying point of personal privilege or parliamentary inquiry to ask questions that means questions regarding research or question of, regarding content that has been spoken would you would be frowned upon and after a little, after a few warning shots for me it's only one you will be marked down on so please understand what are, what are points of personal privilege parliamentary inquiry if you have any doubt regarding them like i answer i'll answer it right now and during the first few sessions the first session of the arppm if you still have some doubts along that but ideally if you're here if you're present here ask me the questions if you have any, have any doubts regarding points or motions okay yeah so if you have any doubts just raise your hands along to them or if not we'll just move on to chat yes rahul aippm please uh, yes sir uh, so am i audible yes Yeah. Yeah. So, considering that the public session is somewhat very much similar to what we call as the moderate caucus in a proper UN committee, ah, uh, so in AIPPM, is it obligatory on our part to strict procedures actually, which are followed in a uh, followed when a basic moderate caucus is in session? Like, we can't ask a point of information ah uh, on any statement that's made in a moderate caucus. So, in AIPPM, is it allowed? No, no, no. Is the same I told. If oh. it would be allowed, I would have mentioned it. Uh, okay sir okay like as i told you right you can't use so if, see if you can't yield time to points of information nobody can ask questions right uh, for yes, the question sir. yeah for the question since to be asked the person has to yield the time if i'm if you're not if you're not giving you the option to yield time there would be no question yeah okay but still if you want to ask questions if if everybody heard what uh, rahul asked if you still want to ask questions you can do so through chit okay now I'll, i'll i'll explain to you how chit should be used okay so as rahul asked during the moder- uh, during public uh, public sessions if you still want to ask a question and you are not allowed uh, to ask verbally still want to ask a question and that's understandable you can use it you can ask them via chit chit essentially would 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 be that would be the whatsapp group either if we we'll do it on the main whatsapp group or a different whatsapp group would be created we'll explain it that'll be at the end but if you want to ask a question what you will do it's simple if you want to write this down write it. if you want an example i'll just send a rough poi on the whatsapp group so you'll understand what the poi is if you want to write it that is ideal write it right now the format is very simple at the top of the statement it would be poi you you write it in like capital letters poi after that it would be from to your allotment allotment that you're asking a question to and ideally if you are posting it on the group you want the eb to write uh, eb to read it so still write via eb okay ideally every chat on the group should have via eb but still i'm giving you i'm telling you write via eb and then write your question so it's simple it's poi from to via eb the questions you can do this okay wait a minute there is a cap or what okay. um nupur are you here yes yes ideally how 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 many people are we expecting i have not uh, checked the matrix yet uh for ai ppa yes uh for ibpm we have 35 parliamentarians 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool, guys, do one thing about the chits, the caps on the chits. I'll I'll let you know, okay? Because thirty five is a huge number. All of you won't have enough uh, time to speak because of thirty five. But yeah, I'll I'll change the cap depending on how many people actually come because there were there might be lesser lesser amount of people that come or more. It's what happens at the day. It's different than what what we plan. Uh, so I'll just explain what the chips are. Firstly, I I've uh, told you what POIs are. Points of information can be asked via chips. You can use chips. The caps on that I'll explain it to you. Cool. Ha. Huh. One more thing. Uh, one is called. Hmm. What is this? Okay. Okay. That's a delegate. Uh, the delegation question. Okay. So chits. I've told you there are two types. Firstly, I've explained it to you. Uh, points of information. That 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 doesn't have caps. You can ask any amount of points of information you want. Make sure you're not asking points of information for frivolous questions. If the questions are not important or like they don't make sense, like you're not going to get marks just because you're sending a lot of uh, questions. Okay, the questions should be pertinent. They should make sense. Okay, so those those uh, chits don't have caps. The caps that will tell you they are regarding substantive chits. Substantive substantive chits is essentially um, if you've Finish your speech, and there is certain information that you've missed upon. You can send it us via substantive chip. Still, that is something debatable because no good moderator or the chair, nobody likes substantive chips a lot because substantive chips is essentially a copy paste thing, and nobody the the downside of substantive chips is when you compare it to verbal points, whatever you say in committee, that is something everybody will hear. and if somebody has an issue with it people can ask questions in their own speeches in substantive chits what happened it's either on the whatsapp group and if you have given a huge substantive chits nobody is going to read them that thing okay no delegate is going to like for us it's our entire responsibility to read it we read the entire thing but no delegate is going to read the entire thing that's why less debate would ensue that's why substantive chits are like frowned upon by good moderators so i let this i'll just tell you what the caps would be there ideally there would be a cap because i don't want a lot of copy paste substantive chits okay so yeah these are the t- two type of chits and this is the process that would be done via chit if you have any other type of questions that you want to ask the uh, delegates use it like you guys would have each other's numbers just pm them or you can use the zoom chat as well but for poi through substant uh, substantive chits and pois the chits has to be have to be sent through whatsapp no chits should be sent on the the zoom chat okay any question any question what to ever um can you just uh, or send the draft of the chit on the group draft bhej it the honestly it's it's going to be the same that i just said because i'm not going to make an um, like write an entire point of information question to you guys right it's simple it's poi from to from ke baad colon to ke baad colon via eb and your question straight forward right via okay you know what it's fine i'll just write it on the group okay it's just okay i'll write it on the group i'll do it right now if you want so if you guys have any questions you can ask okay just give me a second i'll do it right now okay go on the wait a minute is it connected <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Go on the group. I've written it. If you have any questions, you can ask. Yes. A I P P M P M. Okay. I can't see the entire name. Thank you. Uh, yes. For uh, whoever's raised the hand, please ask. Yeah. P M Modi, Prime Minister Modi, please ask your question. Yeah. 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 Ye
यस सर नमस्ते पी एम मोदी दिस साइड सर अभी जैसा आपने बताया कि हर एक स्पीच के बाद में अगर टाइम रिमेनिंग नहीं है तो पी का प्रोसीजर फॉलो नहीं होगा लेकिन अगर पूरी कमेटी में अगर हम ये एक मोशन पास करें कि आफ्टर एवरी स्पीच वन और टू पी यू आई मस्ट बी एंटरटेन सो क्या ये हो सकता है करो आपकी मर्जी कमेटी आपकी है वी कॉन्ट टेल यू वॉट डू सो सी वॉट वी वॉट वी डन इज दैट वी गिवेन यू आर ओ पी गिवेन यू गाइडलाइन If you want to change it, cool. But there are certain points that we won't change because that those are the fund fundamentals of the flow of debate. But if you want questions, and if everybody wants questions, okay. If you want to change the ROP, take it. But for that, you won't. Uh, you don't just require a simple majority. You need uh, require two thirds. Okay, for uh, this type changes, of motion, yeah, we need two third majority. It's, it's it's not even a this type of motion. Okay, it's your responsibility. to gather support for this and make the change before the committee starts so essentially before the committee starts on the day of or you can uh, once uh, the secretariat opens the group for all the delegates to type as well if you guys can secure majority on the day of i'll ask you for everyone and i'll ask for the vote before the committee starts as well okay so any okay. any changes you want to the procedure Firstly, if we decide, okay, this is something that we can actually change, depending on these people, we'll say, okay, the vote would be done, and if two thirds majority is reached on the of the people present on that day, only then it would be passed. And yeah, if that passes, okay, it's up sir, to you. Sir, because you because sir, I don't want to change the whole day's procedure just for the one uh-huh. or two sessions, just I for have... one or two no, no, sessions. No, no, because... no, 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 that won't happen. If you want to change, you change the procedure for the entire two days. Okay. Okay. It's up to you guys. It's your committee is yours. But if you're going to make a change, debate, talk to you, uh, talk to each other, make sure that everybody is okay with this. Because once the de- uh, procedure has changed, it the change would stay for the entire day. That's why I'm going to take the vote before the committee starts, not in between. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Noted. Yes, Anukriti Banerjee. anukriti banerjee have a question yeah uh, so the after the speeches the time will be held only to eb or it can it be held uh, to any other uh, parliamentary and or uh, uh, or it can be given for poi only to i told you eb poi if we are giving you the choice of yielding your time you can yield only to options either to uh, the eb or poi no okay. to another po uh, like a delegate or a parliamentarian no point of that okay okay sir okay cool so what we have done is we have talked about the chits we have talked about motions we anukriti banerjee ma'am if you don't have a, yeah thank you we have talked about chits we have talked about motions we have talked about points now it's jo ending mein hoga that is accepted form of paperwork in aim so see ai ppm the like the main point of ai ppm the reason it is different from lok sabha rajya sabha or any type of other type any type of indian committees that are simulated in youth parliament is that ai ppm is just your debate that is it you are not deciding on certain things that means after this after the ai ppm it's regarding sedition right after this no change is going to happen at the end of the day what you can do is give recommendations give that okay this might happen or this should happen after like in a couple of coming days months years decades whatever you want okay but at the end of the session no change would be there like no decision would be taken that would be uh, that would affect the citizens of india or the parliamentary uh, parliamentary oversight or the government as such okay that is the reason the only accepted form of documentation the end product that i stated in my first explanation of the roll call is would be a report okay it'll be a press release report we generally for the sake of clarity we talk we will call it a press release okay press release what will be will just be the things that have been discussed in the committee the things that committee agrees upon the things that committee don't agree upon also you can just say essentially when you go online you might have done it for your school research or if you 
do YPs or MUNs, you would have done research. There are many press releases that you can be found, like AIPPM press releases, Lok Sabha press releases, any type of press release. It's essentially what the press will give it to the press. AIPPM as the whole will give that report to the press less and it would be released for the public to know. That is it. Okay, yes, Tai Amrutka. Tai Amrutka, you raise your hand. If you have a question, please ask. Yes, sir, I had a question that actually can you send me the recording of the session what you will continue now because I have another lecture. Yes, yes, yeah. I think so. The session, the recording would be uh, sent on the group. Okay, so thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Yeah, wait a minute. People have asked. Yeah, people have asked questions in the chat, so I'll just explain, I'll just read it. How would we, we be access the point of privilege as in we have to unmute and ask it? Yeah, every type of points, if you are not asking and if you still want to ask the points, you raise your hand. Okay, nobody unmutes and asks it directly. Raise your hand, we'll recognize you and then we'll uh, ask you what point do you rise to? Okay, no, another question is, Questions to secretary, can delegates from different committees form delegation? Yeah, which agenda? Okay, Subramaniam so, Swami, just ask this type of delegation questions personally to uh, uh, Nupurma. Sir, doubt has been cleared. Okay, cool, because I just get confused. Sir, who will draft the press release? You guys, any one of you can draft the press release because the press release doesn't have an author. You get it. Okay, I'll explain it to you why. The reason AIPPM has a press release is because when the press release is drafted by you guys, it won't be from Prime Minister Modi. It won't be from Rahul Gandhi. It won't be from a certain person. It would be the entire press release would be only AIPPM, All India Political Party Meet. That is it. Nobody would have their own name on it. That is the reason what we are talking about it should be consensus based. Okay, just give me a just give me a second. Uh, the co-moderator has just texted has just texted me. Just give me a second. Okay, cool. So the co-moderator has texted me reg regarding the press release. Okay, so it, they can either be su uh, submitted individually, okay, or you can build a, a party block. That means if you have uh, the ruling uh, ruling party or if you have the opposition, then you want to make blocks, you can do that. So Individually, you can write, you can write based on the party or, as well, but still the name, your name, like there is no point of authors and all in the AIPPM press view. Okay. It would be uh, your party's views, your individual view. Okay. But at the end, I'll give you, I'll give you the, re the reason there is, because uh, the reason why there is no name because at the end, everyone has to vote yes for it. If even one person votes no, that means the, the paper fails. Okay. Press releases essentially it's consensus based consensus based matlab everyone has to agree with it so ideally you shouldn't even introduce the paperwork until and unless you made sure everybody is agreeing with it because like it'll be it'll just be a waste of time if anybody wants any one person says no the paper fails yes pm modi you have a question Yes, sir. It is possible that uh, uh, the whole committee don't have consensus uh, for the press release. So uh, can can we make the press release blockwise? See, that is the point, right? There is see the the what you press release in your stating, you know, it won't be operate or, or actionable. Action. Sorry, actionable because there is no or see. What happens in, I'll just give you an example. Uh, if you talk, if you take a UN uh, committee, okay, as such, or if you take a Lok Sabha, the end documents in those committees, they have certain points whose nature is operative. Operative as such, that point once passed, 
will it will act that means an action will happen in press release there there is no action happening so there is no point of having these many amount of people voting to be their majority to be there because it's not actionable it's just something that you decided the press should know or the public should know that's it so it is depending on you guys depending on your lobby you need to make sure that you come to certain points sir if i am not satisfied with the other delegates point i can yes you can express yourself you don't need a press release for that because see press release won't bear your name so even if you write a press release which is not allowed by us there's no point now because when it goes to the public public won't know that you wrote, you uh, you said it now the public would know okay the aibbm is saying this so there is no point of giving your own press release because your name won't be there okay i hope you guys understand this that is the reason i'm telling you the the focus of aibbm is debate not what happens at the end it's it it it's what happens for the entire like public session private session uh, yes um, aman shan shamnani followed by pm modi Oh, yeah. I had a question. Um, uh, at the time of uh, points to information, when we will ask the questions to the other members of the committee, right? So at that particular moment, if we are not satisfied with the that particular person's uh, uh, reasoning, then how can we oppose it? See, that's what I'm saying. There is no plea to call up or as such. If you are not satisfied with the question. and if you want certain clarification ask them personally if you are not satisfied with the question you can ask a poi via chat you can do that no issues you can ask a poi via uh, via chat it should be different but you can ask it if you still not satisfied it bring uh, bring it up in your speech there is no no other uh, there is no other means of asking like if a certain person has given an answer it's his prerogative his or her prerogative Oh uh, yes, AIP PM. Sorry, PM Modi. You have a question. Um, yes, sir. Thank you so much. I have two doubts. First is regarding with press release, uh, how uh, it will affect or how it will count in marking criteria. And I, second question is how uh, total marking criteria what total marking criteria is. Okay. So uh, first question is how the documentation would affect very minimal minimal to the least it would be the most minimal because there is no actionable law document if it was a lok sabha or a un committee in which the documentation is very actionable then it's understandable uh the marking criteria we'll give because uh, mine and dhruv's marking criteria is different okay so what we do is both of the both of the moderators will judge upon their own criteria and after the entire committee if there are certain differences in positions in our either criteria we would discuss among ourselves we we'll, uh, will decide that why this person has done this why this person has done this because i think so it it helps that is the reason there are two moderators if the both of the moderator are doing the same thing doesn't make sense writing a uh, uh, marking criteria we'll send to you either in the in the next two two three days or at the uh, the first day because see my marking criteria you should not like give that much importance right now just focus on your research but my marking criteria is your uh how it's our responsibility show it to you we'll send it to you as soon as possible okay yes aman shamnani you have certain questions aman shamnani if you don't please lower your hand no no yeah sorry yeah, yeah. okay cool so as i have explained it to you that is the press release that's why i am telling you focus on the debate more okay i'll just see if there is anything else left yeah i think sir everything is done okay so two things i have to give to you is one the cap on substantive chits which would be there the number of uh, chits i'll just tell you as soon as possible how many number of chits if you can send substantive chits at all if you can send send it okay so okay yeah one more thing if people have read uh, the background guide they would have a question that is one 
what is difference between the private session and unmoderated session okay so private session as such it it would be a set. see private session i don't think so ideally you, you guys would use if you want to use it you would private session is essentially we would be there okay all both of the uh, moderators would be there and it would just be a consultation between you guys okay that would that would have points okay the content it just won't be recorded now unmoderated or recess session is essentially you want to speak among yourself as to which topics you will discuss or what should be done with the committee as such in in a certain way like you don't want the moderators to be present there okay that is the uh, what is saying unmoderated or recess session for that you just raise a motion that obviously when we ask for motions we raise a motion stating we want a unmoderated session for how how much ever the time you don't need a topic for a unmoderated session and the upper limit for a unmoderated session should be 20 minutes okay so yeah that uh, have a doubt yeah 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 please ask we can use the unmoderated session to draft a press release amongst ourselves right ha uh, ha ha whatever you want to what, what yeah whatever you want to do you can discuss either in a private session you want to discuss if you want to uh, if you want the moderators to be there uh, when you uh, discuss or draft the lobby for the press release up to you guys if you don't want the moderators to be there on moderated session that is the only difference private session may you have to give timings okay and for uh, on moderated sessions we won't be there because we won't moderate it. that is the only difference okay uh yes anukriti banerji so there are going to be three sessions then like moderate unmoderate and private session because in generally in yeah, ai public people, private and un- i can't hear you properly generally in ai ppm we have seen that there are like two sessions private and public sessions like moderate and unmoderated is for that you and no arupis okay i I'll, yeah i'll do i'll do this private session and unmoderated sessions are the same thing so i'll do this remove the unmoderated session you just have public and private public may we'll be there private may we won't be there works i think so it's the same private session and unmoderated will the marks be calculated for private or marks will be calculated right so for yeah, private see, also right see that's what i'm saying see private session may so i'll tell you the reason i've included on moderated sessions okay private session as such if you talk about any type of meeting this is not only for ai ppm okay any type of meeting if you talk about public and private if there is a bifurcation the only difference is public may there would be verbatim private may verbatim nahi aayega moderate moderations both of the sessions mein hote okay so ideally i wanted you guys to have an option in which uh, chairs are not there you can speak freely you can discuss you know you know bounce ideas off each other do certain things talk talk in a certain way like you know informal way uh, you just don't want the moderators to be there that's why i gave you the, an option of unmoderated session okay you get it right points to sab mein mark honge yes, the, the only yes, the only yeah the only points in which your, your statements won't be marked are unmoderated ses- sessions because we won't be there cool yes sir so there will be like three sessions like uh, yeah, moderated and moderated and private sessions at all yes no yeah it's public private and unmoderated because public and private yeah, both yeah. will moderate okay yeah 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 okay, okay. yeah and one more thing i'll just uh, explain to you the public session yeah he's not written this properly okay uh, just don't look at the uh, motion formats for this if you want write it down the extension session would be for public sessions as well okay so if your uh, public session is for 20 minutes and individual speaker time you've given like 1 minute okay at the end of the session you have an option of extending the current session as i've t- i've told you uh, less than half amount of time that means if you have 20 minutes of the session and you want to extend it you can extend it for the most for 10 minutes cool okay uh, this cannot be done for unmoderated session only for moderated session that is public and private okay 
I think so. That's about it. If any one of you have any questions, like please, I'm urging you to ask as many questions as possible, right? So can you repeat the last thing you said? The voice broke a bit. About the extension. Yes, sir. Yeah, extension would be there for public and private sessions both. Es essentially, it is if you take in a public session of for twenty minutes per speaker time one minute. If you want to once that motion elapses, if you want to extend that motion, we'll ask for for a uh, extension, and then you can extend the motion. At most, till half the amount of time. That is ten minutes. That means if you have twenty minutes of the initial motion, the extension cannot be more than ten minutes. It can be two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, but ten minutes is allowed. Works. Yes, okay, sir. I, yeah, I hope that clears that doubt. If anybody has any other doubts, please ask me. Yeah, I have a doubt. Yeah, please. normal amendments, uh, the resolution or the end document, whichever the solution it is, whatever it is, it has to be written in a specific format. So, do, does the press release also have a format, or can we just write it off? No, it's AIPPM, like full name, dalo, and points. That's it. You don't need. You don't require a specific format. So like, no. if you want to write date, you can write date. But honestly, yeah, honestly, we don't. We won't look at it that much. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Any other? Yup. Yeah, any other questions that you guys want to ask? Okay, I'm not seeing any. So we'll stop the session here. Still, if you guys have any questions, you can ask it on the group. Uh, Rahul. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I couldn't follow the difference between an unmoderated uh, session and uh, um. I mean. The the other one, I mean, not okay. not the moderated one. Uh, okay, moderated no. and the other. No, wait a minute. I'll give you a bifurcation. Okay, moderated and unmoderated. Okay, moderated may. Okay, two sessions will be. A public session will be. A private session will be. Unmoderated session is one only. That is called recess session. Okay, moderated may two will be. That is public and private. Okay, for private. I'm I've just include included for the sake of it because AIPPM in actuality. Has public and private only. I've added unmoderated because you guys would be like after a lot of debate, you guys would be very tired. You guys would need to even if the break is not there, you guys would need certain break either for drafting paperwork or just to have like a five minute break. And I need you guys to have that. Okay, so that's why I've included the unmoderated thing. Public may I've explained it to you what happened. Private may the same thing, but without any verbatim. But we'll still be there for moderation. Get it? So it's moderated, unmoderated. Unmoderated means there's only unmoderated session, and that is recess session. And in moderated, there's public and private. Oh, okay, so got it. You get it, Rahul sir? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Any other questions? Uh, Rahul, if you don't have any other question, please raise. Okay, cool. Guys, if you still have any question, uh, I'll just ask uh, the secretary to open the WhatsApp meeting uh, to delegates to ask questions as well. Please ask questions on the public group. Don't uh, text either of us personally. And again, don't use the group uh, for delegation questions because it'll create a lot of spam. So. Ask it directly to Anupur uh, Ma'am. Her contact would be there. I'll tell her to text. I think so. She's already texted on the group, so you guys would her have her uh, number. You can ask her directly about any delegation related or you know uh, conference related questions. Yes, S J Shankar Ji. Sir, can you just summarize the uh, public motion? Public motion, public session. It would be. I have written it in the uh, background guide. It. It's the only. Uh, this is uh, the difference. Okay, I'll just explain it to you what will happen. If you want a public public session, when we ask for motion, you say, okay, I will have a motion for a public session on a topic like this for a total time period of this and individual speakers' time of this. An example of that would be if we are discussing uh, the new uh, the NEP twenty, like the draft NEP that became the NEP. If we are discussing that, we will discuss. I'll put forward 
that the public session i want a public session for the topic technology or privatization of education under nep uh, for a time period of 20 minutes uh, individual speakers time one minute i think 20 speakers would be entertained for one minute each cool as yes, uh, okay cool yes sir yes sir is it necessary to raise any motion uh yeah i mean like you guys want the debate to go forward right so when we ask for motion you tell us what motion do you want like you guys want to talk right after researching you guys want to talk so yeah obviously or you will have motion but it's not mandatory right see if you don't if you don't put forward motions the committee would be paused because without motions i can't do anything like the moderators can't do anything the committee won't go on you understand right it there's no mun concept of a general speakers list that keeps going on it's not like that indian committees always have motions and you have to keep giving motions you know switch from motions to motions and that's how the debate progresses yeah, about that and the mun's the general speakers right. list so there uh... is obviously it's mandatory right yes Yeah. In MUNs, once the sixty percent of the general speakers list is done, the floor, the floor is open for motion side. So how does no, it work? There is I... yeah. There is no point. There is no rule like that in any of the MUN procedures. Sixty percent. Right. It's up to us. What will happen is after the introductory motions, if when everyone is done, we'll open the session for motion. We'll ask for motions. Once a motion has been recognized, once the motion has been passed, until and unless that motion is done, we won't ask for motions. when that motion is done first we'll ask for extension motion pass not pass we'll again ask for motions we'll keep asking for motions once the previous motion is elapses it's like it's straight forward see indian committees are very straight forward once it's motion 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 once the motion the time limit for the motion is gone we'll ask for motions points and motions we'll keep asking once uh, the motion is done okay so you don't have to worry about that just make sure your research is there just make sure your uh, understanding is there between people that means okay we want to talk about this we want to talk about this we want to talk about this so you will basically just add that this 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 as topic topic of the public motions okay uh, one more thing if okay. uh, one more thing in a public session if i already uh, give my speech and after some time somebody else speaks something and i want to uh regarding their point or or if i think of another point which i want to speak and i uh, ask the moderator or uh, the chair to give me one more minute to speak in the end what 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 i don't get it can you repeat it as in can i uh, speak again after after speaking once already in the public session yeah i uh, that will depend that will depend on uh, how many uh, people are want to speak so thing is ideally we want everyone to speak at least once but if no nobody uh, you know if nobody wants to speak like nobody is raising their hands then obviously we will take in even if the people if even if the people uh, person has spoken before we'll consider it okay okay thank you any other questions okay i guess then it's done um nupur wait a minute there's one more question we all have to stick to our opinions because we are going to speak on the views of our allotted portfolio then what is take minute yeah we all have to stick to our opinions because we are going to speak on the views of our allotted portfolio what is the oh uh, can you ask this question on the public uh, uh, session sir Sarvari, because everybody like I want to answer this question. Everybody will understand this one. Just copy paste it and ask it on the WhatsApp group, like the public chat. Can you guys see it? Okay, so the question is, I'll just copy paste it. So everybody, please. Okay, so everybody can hear, see this. Just read it. I'll answer it. So it's, we all have to stick to our opinions because we are going to speak on the views of our allotted portfolio. And what's the what's the use of voting system? 
so essentially that is the point okay in ai ppm the end product is it's it's nothing it's essentially the ai ppm is stating okay this 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 what happens okay in the press release there would there won't be any opinion at all okay it would be just a reporting of okay this like this has been spoken this has been discussed this has been done okay so if you if you if you study journalism if anybody has study journalism there is a difference there is there, is, there are called one is one post that you see in newspapers one is called a news report and one is called a opinion ed oped bolte hain that is an opinion of the writer and other other thing when you talk about a news report or a press release it's just reporting what happened as such you will decide that what should go out to the public that what should the public would know that uh, ai ppm has discussed that's why i'm telling you do not give a lot of importance to what will happen at the end in the press release whether or not press release will pass or not doesn't matter even if it's even even if it doesn't pass doesn't matter please focus on the debate that is the beauty of ai ppm you don't have to focus a lot on okay whether this will happen or not because it's not a lok sabha it's not anything in which you have to propose a bill and you want the bill to pass or anything it's just a debate that's why it's just a meet okay so you don't worry that much about that make sure your research is good make sure your debate is good in interact between different blocks your blocks are your blocks have already been made you don't have to do much about that your blocks have already been made so that works for you okay any other questions okay then i guess we'll stop here if you guys have any other questions as i told you ask me on the group public please uh, is it not okay to talk in hindi it is ideally it should be but still uh, okay so the thing is my hindi is good but i i don't use hindi on a day to day basis so if if i have any issues i just ask you to repeat something uh, if i don't catch it but yeah you can use hindi you can use english whatsoever but please like other than hindi english it's just a request from our side please don't use any other languages because it will be very difficult then for the moderators to moderate and for us to judge okay i just hope that box okay cool so guys we'll stop here cool uh what should i do nupur should can we give speech in hindi yes you can as i've told you you can it's up to you guys if you can if you want to give a speech in hindi or english but if anybody else has a problem of understanding hindi please tell us in the start because even if there is one person who cannot understand hindi properly then we'll have to change that okay so yep uh, nupur like should they leave like can i leave yeah as everyone's done then we can end it here uh your uh, this what disrupted what do you say nupur you said something if everyone's done yeah we can end it here yeah everything is done i guess okay cool then uh, guys you can leave the meeting even i'm going to leave the meeting रिकॉर्डिंग बंद करूं क्या मैं हो गया ना स्टॉप कर दूं oh.